All right, uh, uh, it's only natural and proper for us to be screaming congratulations to our Salah fans. I don't know how the, the, the jubilation can't be like saying that the league then win, they don't win Champions League. But you're not going to blame them anyway. Uh, they've not tested this stage of the Champions League for a very long time. So if they made, if they made it to the quarterfinal, uh, it's expected that, uh, you know, they celebrate, they jubilate like they just won the trophy. Baba Tunde Ojo, uh, you and I watched this game for 90 minutes. We've talked about this game before the game. You know, this more like, you know, an obvious statement from the part of Ateta and them boys that uh, uh, the work where Ateta they do this season, the goals, uh, chasing for trophy, no be fluky be. There's a proper work going on at Arsenal Football Club. Without a shadow of doubt, I think um, it's uh, permitted for every Arsenal fan to be waxing lyrical of what they've achieved so far this season. Mm. And not um, more importantly, mm. adding this particular defeat mm. and progressing to the last eight of the Champions League, something that has not happened in a very long time. Mm. You ask a kid who just started supporting Arsenal in less than 10 years ago, mm. he has not had this experience feeling. Before. He has not experienced this. So for some of us that have been supporting the club for years, We've, you know, gone through the good and bad times. Mm. I think um, we are going to sleep well tonight. And mm. I, I, I think I've got to say congratulations to Arsenal mm. fans worldwide. Mm. This is a massive one. And we've got to give um, Mikel Arteta his flowers. Now you don't bring the coach Mikel Arteta. It's also good to give him uh, in flowers. It, 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 let's say the, the, the structure and the faith from Arsenal fans right now is on another level. Uh, two years ago, a lot of people, they thought the facts that uh, uh, the man never learned work finish. Yeah. Now, apprentice in B, in no way to make your guys settle and before you run, come on, go college job for us. Now, it's Ateta, a, still a baby coach, two years ago, like people insinuated. He's still a greenhorn, to be honest. He's still a greenhorn. Uh, but uh, the thing is, uh, with what he has shown so far, uh, as far as I'm concerned, he has not scratched the surface as far as his potentials mm. he, uh, uh, is concerned. And... Um, the fact remains that he learned from the best, like someone said mm. before I came here. Mm. He learned from the best and he seems to be cool-headed mm. and he's not getting carried away. Mm. And the fact is that um, he knows what he wants mm. and he seems to have a target and he's silently and patiently working towards um, achieving his goals. Mm. Uh, the truth is um, you can't put him and the likes of Pep Guardiola in a sentence because mm. um, those uh, managers have already achieved, um, you know, when you talk about winning trophies. True. But um, I think um, he's a step above someone like Xabi Alonso at the moment mm. because at least he has been able to win the FA Cup mm. and the community shield. Xabi Alonso has not won anything as, as a coach. So I, I think um, Mikel Arteta is gradually grinding his way to the top. And um, uh, in the next few years, I think um, Arsenal fans will look back and say, those days when we were giving this man the sticks, he didn't actually deserve it. Now, I mean, say if I be coach, if I want sign player, I go first sign Odegaard and then come back to sign Omar Alaji, Saka. Uh, let's talk about the captain, your captain, Odegaard. You know, how instrumental is he to this Ateta team? You know, judging with the fact that, you know, two years ago, this Arsenal team was, you know, we were majorly, you know, kids. And then uh, Ateta was handed over the armband. Uh, I mean, uh, Odegaard was, Odegaard was handed over the armband. A lot of people of the opinion, uh, uh, if you can show that this, you know, this, this, you know, growth, this progress, this, uh, should I say, uh, the kind of job where Ateta won't do. Uh, because at some point it was, it was, uh, what's his name? Abomayang. At some point, he went to Zaka, okay, yeah. and then he, hand, he landed on the laps of uh, Odegaard. How instrumental and important is this guy to Arsenal and, of course, to Arteta? Aside the fact that he's a fantastic midfielder, he's a very good leader as well. He's not the type that makes noise, but um, uh, he allows his actions on the field of play mm. to do the talking for him. Mm. He knows how to marshal the troops, mm. and um, we saw that in full glare tonight. And, uh, the truth Absolutely. is that... Um, uh, he's a young player mm. with a very matured head. Mm. That explains why he's not only the captain of the uh, of Arsenal Football Club, mm. he's also the captain of the Norwegian national, national, national team. team. So True. he's a fantastic leader. True. And um, the way he goes about his game, mm. he, he, he doesn't um, uh, get carried away with, uh, so with the, whatever right. uh, uh, difficulties mm. his team might be facing. Like mm. the way uh, uh, Porto came out again with their antics, mm. like they did in the first leg at uh, mm. Estadio de Dragao, you know, trying to delay the game, mm. you know, you know, committing some kind of needless fouls. But mm. they, he didn't allow that get into the heads of his players. Mm. I saw 
at different occasions, he calmed the likes of Rice and even Kai Havertz down. Even though the, 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 the FC Porto players were trying to provoke them, but he was able to calm them down. And I think, um, uh, without a shadow of doubt, he should have received the Man of the Match award tonight for that fantastic performance. Uh, before he before come Man of the Match, I want us to talk about the goalkeeper, uh, the goalkeeper the, Raya. Now, this is another top, top, top performance for Raya. Absolutely. You know, I, I remember when Ateta been bench him, uh, been bench uh, uh, Ramsdale. A lot of people will have the opinion say, why you go bench your trusted Luton and trade on day for you for one season plus or two seasons and then bring in a new keeper and make the person automatically number one. But this is not the first time that, the, that Raya had, you know, proved himself. And of course, he proved himself tonight with two top-notch saves in the penalty shootout. To those that do not know, uh, when Mikel Atata actually got the Arsenal job, the first goalkeeper he went for was um, David Raya. Mm. But because Brentford mm. actually built a brick wall mm. around him, mm. that was why he couldn't get him and he was uh, able to get uh, uh, Aaron Ramsdale from Sheffield United. Mm. David Raya, without a shadow of doubt, is a fantastic goalkeeper. True. And I'm sure Mikel Arteta cannot wait for the end of the season so that he can, you know, just mm. forward the £27 million pounds that Brentford has been demanding so that um, he can make his deal permanent. He's a fantastic goalkeeper. Mm. And I won't be surprised uh, when the Euros will start in June mm. that this young man would displace Unai Simon mm. as a first choice goalkeeper of Spain. I can as well say that uh, David Raya don't pay part payment of your money. Absolutely. And now we are, we are on the scene as a final quarter final. We are into the quarter final, final. And uh, which trophy would you rather place your hand on? Uh, you know the Champions League. You know Daisy uh, to the Chase Champions League and the Chase Premier League. So your hand go full. Yeah. Uh, at, you know, looking at this Arsenal team, you don't think they have that depth to go all out for the two trophies. But uh, they say game by game. Yeah. As small small nine water, they take full pot. They take food uh, butter. Yeah. Where is the ultimate end for Arsenal for Champions League? The trophy, or maybe just lose one. So Okay, more leave hold this one. More manage this one with a very short. Sure. If we beat Brentford, beat Northam Forest, manage draw Man City, manage draw Liverpool, we'll feel our hands. Without allowing my emotions to get the better of me, I think um, to be realistic, I think the Premier League title looks easier yeah. than the Champions League. Uh, mm. But um, if you give me the Champions League as an Arsenal fan, I will collect it. Maybe that will compensate mm. for that loss it's against Barcelona. Barcelona in 2006, mm. where uh, for the cameras, maybe I should not say it. Mm. I had to shed a tear because mm. I was so disappointed that Arsenal mm. lost that particular mm. one. So, realistically, I think the Premier League title mm. looks like uh, something that they can, uh, you know, lay their hands on. All right, congratulations, Arsenal fans. Of course, I remember that game in 2006. I was supporting Arsenal, but uh, back at that day, they were a different level. Uh, yes, and <laughs> that, that team that year, you know, a different level it be. This nasty football temple, and my name is Nachin Wepikin. And you know, say, yes, my mama bombed me. Well, like, do where to follow us on our socials, Football Temple uh, Capital X on X and of course Football Temple underscore on Instagram and do where to watch our interesting videos on YouTube as our Studios NG on YouTube. This now Football Temple, Chin with Pekin alongside Baba Tundojo. Congratulations Asana. Make us see where we're going to end. We'll go post and sign for our guard. We're going to come with Champions League moves.